Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this lecture, I am going to give introduction about uh, module 4 uh, syllabus. Okay, whatever the contents asked in uh, VTU. Okay, so for uh, the playlist, uh, first to three modules is completely ready. So you can watch uh, by becoming a member. Okay, to my channel. And next is, uh, this is the class number one. I am not doing any topic here. I am just listing out what are the syllabus topic comes under module 4 and which topic we need to concentrate in depth. Okay. For exam point of view. So the first topic in module 4 is three phase induction motor. So in this uh, induction motor, in this topic, so we are going to learn concept of rotating magnetic field. So this is one topic, concept of rotating magnetic field. Definitely based on this, uh, questions will be there. So if I know this concept of rotating magnetic field, then I can easily understand um, working principle of three phase induction motor. So next we are learning working principle. Okay, working principle of induction motor. Okay, three phase induction motor. So this is one topic and next is construction okay construction of induction motor okay construction and details of induction motor we are going to learn in detail so in that uh, stator construction is common for both type of rotor okay rotor and stator are two parts of induction motor so in rotor we have two types one is called squirrel cage Okay, squirrel cage rotor and other one is called slippering rotor and other one is called slippering rotor. Based on the rotor construction only, induction motor transferred into two types, squirrel cage induction motor and slippering induction motor. We are going to learn uh, these two constructions in detail and uh, plus comparison between these two. Compare squirrel cage and slippering. That is also sometimes asked in the exam. So that topic. And next fourth topic is to start the induction motor. Okay, this starter is very important. Okay, so star delta starter. Okay, this starter is very important. To operate the induction motor, the starter plays an important role. Why we are using the starter? Uh, with the basic diagram we are going to learn and along with this the fifth one will be problems on induction motor okay problems on three phase induction motor see problems are very easy okay you must understand the question properly and then maximum formulas in induction motor is only three okay only three three formulas are there and all problems are same concept okay only we need to understand the question first in a clear manner in a clear manner okay later we can easily solve problems only three formulas you must remember what are those three formulas easy formulas that we can uh, understand in the video lecture in detail so these are the contents no, we are going to learn under three phase induction motor Next, <clears throat> second part is three phase synchronous generator. Three phase synchronous generator. See, synchronous generator and alternator, AC generator, all are same meaning only. Okay. What are the contents we are going to learn under this topic? Okay. Let me see this. First one, we are learning working principle of alternator because I said already synchronous generator, another name is alternator or AC generator. We are going to learn working principle of alternator. Okay. Next is advantages of advantages of rotating field. Advantages of rotating field over rotating armature 
So in alternator, uh, there are two parts. Okay, stator and rotor. In stator, winding will be there. In rotor also, winding will be there. And we have two types of winding in alternator. One is armature winding, another one is field winding. We can place these two windings either in stator or either in rotor. Okay, so we have a lot of advantages by rotating field instead rotating armature. All those things I, we are going to understand in the video lecture. Okay, this is very important. See, once you understand, you can write own your own points. Okay. So, advantage of rotating field over rotating armature is uh, uh, sometimes asked in exam or two to three times. Okay. So, next topic is derive derive EMF equation of an alternator. We are going to learn this one. And problems on this EMF equation only. Very, very easy problem. But what is required? Understanding the question. What data they are given, what we what we need to calculate in the EMF equation, all these things uh, we need to understand. Don't worry, watch the lectures, you can easily uh, score good marks in this model. And next is construction. Okay, construction of an alternator. See, the stator construction of alternator is almost similar to the stator construction of Induction motor, okay. Induction motor uh, construction remains almost the same, okay. Then coming to rotor, coming to rotor, we have two types one is called salient pole rotor, salient pole type rotor, and another one is non salient pole type rotor. Another one is non salient pole type rotor. Okay, so very very important. So after that we are learning problems. Okay, I will be doing around uh, uh, 10 to 15 problems on induction motor and 8 to 10 problems on alternator. Okay, you just stick on my video lectures, see the lectures, make your own notes. Okay, I request all my members, subscribers and viewers. You must compulsory make your own notes for problems, at least for problems. Clearly, somewhat you can refer your college material. Okay. Suppose if your college is not giving material means, then you can make the own notes by watching the lectures. Okay. Watch the videos only once. Okay. And with in a correct way. Okay. Don't forward. Okay. Don't uh, prepare uh, the content. Don't watch the lectures in a hurry hurry. Okay. When you have free time, watch the lectures in a complete uh, without forwarding and make your own notes if needed. Okay, problems you must compulsory make notes. Otherwise, uh, it's feel difficult. At that moment you will understand. So during exam time, uh, you cannot uh, see the problem, which problem you need because uh, each and every video will have three to four problems. Okay, which problem if you want to rotate, uh, want to watch it means unable to uh, see, uh, watch that particular problem at that moment okay during preparation time uh, during exam time time is very less okay got it so better while watching first time you pop down all the problems in the notes problems you must compulsory 100 percent you will get a problems in university question paper whatever i'm going to solve it in the video lectures okay okay guys um, in the next lecture, I am going to start uh, rotating magnetic field. That is the class number two. Class number one is only introduction about module four. What are the topics are there? Okay, I am going to make videos for all this topic in detail. Okay, got it? So trust me, watch my lectures. Okay, so but all these lectures are payable. Okay, eighty nine is not a big amount. Okay, pay eighty nine rupees to get entire module and you will get twenty out of twenty in this respective model in university examination okay okay guys have a nice day take care meet you on next lecture concept of rotating magnetic field